We good? Yeah, you're good. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is David Bedard, and I'm here to uh, show you how to put together um, my Western end scale plow. So here we have uh, one of the plows already put together. And you can see, looking at the different parts, we got the scale H stack, the rear roof, the uh, cupola roof, the cupola, we got wings. Uh, there's a, a, a box in the front for the front coupler. Now this coupler is a micro trains, true scale, long shank coupler, and it just presses in there. And there's a hole if you want to peg it in. Um, the back includes various details. We have the platform. This is the, uh, the Ajax brake thingy. You need to add a brake wheel to that. There's actual chain detail going down. And uh, it takes. Sorry. It's all right, woman. It takes <laughs> standard um, micro trains, trucks, and pins. And the back area is uh, um, has space for a ten fifteen coupler in the back, right? So, so that's the kit as you, it would come. Um, it's black resin. You can't see much detail because it's black resin, and it goes together relatively simply. You know, the, the roof, can you get this? Oh, sorry. Roof comes off the cab, goes together quite easily. You know, the back goes on quite simply. Get extra supports on the back of the roof. Um, the floor comes out. This holds everything together. And then the body comes out from the back. We get the various parts. Okay, so that's just an introduction to what the plow is. Now I'm going to show you um, how to desprue and approach this as a model for painting. So we're going to put this off to the side now that we've destroyed this lovely plow. And so what I've done is I've taken, this is the entire parts of the kit. And the only thing that will change is the cupola. So when you order yours, you have to show me a picture of the prototype and the window arrangements differ. And I've got six different cupolas I can offer you. So the parts include, get the plow front, we got the body, here's the body floor, here's the body roof, we got wings, there is a cupola, cupola roof, and we have different types of lights. So these are platforms. I don't know if you can, can you focus on them? Is it possible? No, it's... These are platforms with the bug eyes already installed. And then down this way, we have the barrel headlight, which is also to scale. So if you wanted to mount the barrel headlight, you just nip off the, uh, the bug eyes and they go away. Here we have the, the back toolbox. Here is the oil, a fuel oil um, reservoir for the roof. If your prototype has it. So, so why don't we go through this a part at a time and I'll show you how to desprue it. And then we will just put it together quickly and call it a day. All right, so I'll put that off to the side. So first thing I want to do is always the tough stuff first. It's a cupola. So this should be easier to focus on than the last video where it's all black, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. So get yourself some good nippers. These are knockoffs. They suck, but they'll work for us. You're just going to carefully go around. Of course, pandering to the camera makes this a little more difficult. Ah. There it is. That part here is garbage. On the plow, you'll, you'll see some bumps. After you do this work, you're just going to sand it off. What file are you using to sand it off? This is an LCN 100 240. So I'm using the, the 100 grit. Aren't you using the 240 side? So I'm using the 240 side. This is the finer side, yeah. It's, it's early in the morning. It's a good job on here. 
Yes, thanks a lot. Today's video is brought to you by my wife, <laughs> who's holding the camera and giggling away as I'm trying to not destroy the end scale stuff. You can can you see the front on each corner. You see the holes there? Yeah. In each corner, these, these are holes. You can open these up with an 8 thou piece of PB wire chucked into your Dremel. And you can use that to mount wire guards on the front. And then you've got two holes left and right for windshield wipers. Again, open it up with an 8 thou piece of PB wire chucked in a Dremel. And it'll open up just fine. Okay. So that's the cupola. And after the cupola... Well, it needs a roof, so here's the roof of the roof. Now, one thing to notice, let's see if we can get this on camera. All right, okay, Ugh. big fingers. The distance from this edge to this edge is less than the distance from this edge to the outer edge. The reason I did that, because when you, when you nip off these supports, it's gonna cut in to this edge, so you're able to file it back to match the other edge. Consideration for the end scalers here. So let's take your take, thinking. take your nippers. That that idea was brought to you by Mr. Cam Tuff, one of my great friends. He suggested it, and I took around with it. So just nipping it off. So you notice on. This side, I'm going to have to file some down, so I'll do that. And use your holes as a guide, right? They should be equidistant. Take a look. I'm a little off square. Take your time. There we go. All right. Now to insert it into the roof, you just go. There it is. It's very important to make the sound. You have to make the sound. Cupola. Okay, put that off to the side. Next, let's do the body. Let's use the next tricky one. Okay. The body, all right. So the strategy I've come with is brute force. Grab, grab the edge there, and you pull it up. And then you grab. We're gonna take this T bit here, and we're gonna hold on to the the side of the, and just break it off there. There. We're gonna be left with extra bits. You see the extra bits on the edge there? Mm -hmm. Just gonna trim it off best we can. And then these. Come back with a file. True everything up. So my wife, what would you, what C word would you use to describe these little? Oh, I don't know if I can say that on I, video. Yeah, sure you can. It's so cute. Oh, there you go, guys. <laughs> the wife is disinvited from everyone's end scale off session. There, Sam. Now you can't go. <laughs> We're just cleaning this up a little bit there. Okay, so here's our back body. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's actual chain detail here in the platform with the supports, which are nice and fine. Nice square windows. You have dimples for the grabs. Again, you can open these up with a piece of 8 thou wire, PB wire, chucked into a Dremel. Grabs all over the place, holes for grabs. Okay, that's the body back. And let's do the body floor. This is this guy here. All right, 
body floor. Okay, well, this. So this um, bolster area is made for a, a micro trains um, pin. Make sure when you're inserting the pin, you support it from the back when you insert it. You might have to open up the hole a hair, but not much. Just going to go through and we're going to trim off. Now, you guys who watch my videos all the time, which I don't recommend, may notice that there are holes missing that were on the, um, the HO version. Now, you are correct. And thank you for that observation. Those pistons will never be seen in N scale. The wings are fixed. All right, so we took off both sides. And then here we have a little connector to the, the beam on the bottom, the center cell. You just nip it and then break it off. Square it up. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Didn't you also say removing the holes made it more structurally sound? Yeah, it does. Nice and strong now. And I have some, depending on which coupler you use. So 10, this is made for a 1015. I think you would use one of these last holes. You open them up. Tap and drill for the, the the screw you need, or you can glue the 1015 box in place. But there are other options in N-Scale for body mounting, so I just added some more holes there to give you guys who have your own thing going on. You know. There's a body floor. Okay, now the roof. 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 So here's the roof for the body. Right? Um... But on the back side, we have a couple smokestacks. The smokestacks, they have supports, one, two, and three. Both of them have one, two, and three. So what I do is I clip off the middle support first, very carefully in the bottom support. Middle support. Bottom support. And then I clip them off right at the bottom. One. Two. And that allows me to get rid of this bottom piece. That. Like this. And now these longitudinal ribs. Let's see if I can see, explain this. This is the back of the roof is right here. And you want to make a cut just there. The same on the other side. Before I do the other side, I'm going to finish cutting off this. Early plot, the uh, smokestack. So you, you come in, put your, you put your, your jaws up against the back of the roof and go nip. Jaws up against the back of the roof and go nip. And then rotate this bottom piece. I don't know how you, oh, there it goes. <laughs> and it comes off, comes off quite nicely. Okay. And at this point, I can. Finish taking off the H stack. We'll clean that up in a second. Just cleaning off bits. Got to follow the end flush because this sits up against the cupola. So I want to make sure it's nice and square. And there is the roof. Now the H stack and the other stack you just nip off. These mounting bits and then just carefully we're not forcing this carefully sanding it down and there's your H stack you see that mm. now I can okay good there. and then the older type stack same thing we're gonna Nip off the mount. Ah, wear eye protection. That went right into my eye. And and then when you're ready, this can be inserted. No, nope, not yet. Tongue out the mouth. There, okay. That'll fit. Of 
what I'm going to do is actually take my knife and just I think the uh, the primer I sprayed on this close it up a hair there we go it's the old early stock in the age stock Okay, moving on. Oil tank. This oil tank is for the uh, the roof. So look at the underside of it. We have this little flimsy piece. Of, you just kind of rotate it a little bit, and it'll snap off itself here. It's one side. Just going to rotate it. Beauty. On the bottom, you can see two mounting posts. Come with your nippers, nip them off. Take this whole assembly, rotate it. Take your file. There. So when you're going to be preparing this for the model, you might you're going to sand off the roof itself because there's print lines there, and then you can add your various appliances. So what's next? Um, here we go. This is the rear toolbox, which is insanely small. Basically, we're going to take this, just rotate it. There it is. If you miss out, I'm sorry. Isn't that insane? There, I've got to focus. Oh, you oh. moved it. That's a real rear toolbox, depending on where it is on the model. Now, when you attach this to the back of your of your model, um, I would recommend like canopy glue or something where you can put a little dab and then kind of play with where it needs to be. Sometimes it's there. Sometimes it's down there. So that's up to you. Okay. Um, <laughs> do you focus? Is it possible to focus? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're, we'll try. Okay. Is it there? Yeah, don't move. <laughs> These are the bug eye lights. You get three different platforms of three different lengths. How you mount it, that's up to you. But to remove it, you just, oh, I guess rotating is not a good idea. This stuff is super thin. You just cut it off. trying any luck um, there yeah now if you don't want them can't believe I'm gonna do this nip them off file it down right and then you grab your barrel headlight is there you can see it yeah I can okay see it. these ones are tough to get off oops I was going to be a smart buddy, and there we go. Nip. See that? Don't get my face. <laughs> it's the end scaler face. So you have your barrel headlight, and this you would mount. There's a hole on the, it's actually, if you want, you can put an LED in there. There's a hole that goes to the back of the reflector. That's right there. And then, yeah, that's up to you, man. Good luck. Okay. We're moving on. Okay, so next are the wings. <laughs> Princess Bride, do you have the wing? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> now, you'll see print lines on these wings. I don't like them very much. That's because I didn't... 
when they were printing, they weren't supported going vertically. So these were able to, to kind of go back and forth and be printed. I will, on the production models, actually have a sprue in the middle. You'll nip off and that'll solve that issue. So it's not a, something you will see. Just like that, it's one way. Good nippers, guys. The trick is, is not to go all the way through. Just crush it. All right. There we go. We got a set of wings. And the last but not least, we got the plow front. Oh, okay. So step one, there's a quiz on this later. Look at my face. Don't look at my face. Tongue out. Is you nip off the big supports at the top. You see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. This is critical. Just do it in this order or it will explode. Take your finger and rotate. Comes clean, right? Exacto knife. Don't eat these. Exacto knives hurt. You're going to clean off the nubs on the back side. Of where that support was. And then drag the knife across to true up that edge. Now, that'll be important in a second. Then you come around the side, do the same thing. And this side here. All right, underneath the plow, there is one little support peg. See that one, love? Right there? Yeah. Cut that. Okay. And I believe I just went crush and crush. Not all the way through, just, just enough to... And I should be able to... Let's do the sides first. The sides, you're just going to rotate this part. There. Come off. Rotate this side. Then rotate this part up. There we are. Trim off the uh, excess pieces. Then use your file carefully. Square it up. And then one little pass this way. That way. If you did it right, you should have one, two, three holes on each side, all right? Okay, so right. the wing has three posts, see it? Yep. Three holes, guess where the three posts go? Mm, and the three holes. Just like this, there we go. No. So three posts, three holes, everything lines up. So I suggest, you finish painting the wings with the decals and everything before you attach them. So the last step should be you going like this with a little touch of CA on each little post, little itty bitty touch of CA, put it on, square it up, leave it for life. You know, this, this side as well, three posts, three holes, everything lines up, nice little scale hinge, right? Okay, so let's actually assemble this thing now. Okay. Moment of truth. Will it fit? I don't know. Okay. It's like, will it blend? Okay. But not Step fit. one. I suggest you do this after you paint it. This is why I made this easy to put together. Three holes, three posts. Slip on the, the body. This has never been together before. Remember, we just screwed it. I'm just squeezing. Squeezing. So the body is now part of the front of the plow. Underbody goes on next. We've got posts. We've got holes. Go 
push it in, give it a wiggle. Be a bit of a pain sometimes, but it'll go. So I'm just making sure this is lining up the way it should. Don't want to force anything, you just want it to work it around. Take your time in this part. So that floor holds everything together. So at this point, you could take some glue and you could touch it on these on these bits here. If it's sitting the way you like. The floor should be flush with the bottom of those supports. Okay. So far so good? Yes? Yep. Yes. Next up is rear roof. I talked to you in the HO version of this. This area and this area, very fragile and they're critical because they, they slot here and they slot in here. So you take the roof, you slide it wrong and down and pull back. You need that slight angle, right? Oh yeah, yeah. so when you want to remove it, push forward and up. Okay. Roof. It's looking good. Cupola. This is not a mistake. This is the same profile as the roof of the front of the plow. Now, this part's a tough fit. Oh. Mm-hmm. Is it on there? Yeah. That was tough. It came up, didn't it? A little bit. Yeah, that's why you got it into glue. How's that look? Looks great. All right. Let's go with a, an H stack here. Put this into hole. Of course, when you're gluing and chewing up and everything, this will look really good. Depending on the prototype, this is higher up or lower down. Of course, that's all crooked and stuff. And oh yeah, I need to add a light. How about a light right there? That's that's totally prototypical, not. So there you go, guys. There's the end scale plow. Um, one other thing is, if you could focus, can you focus in right here? Can you see that hole? Um, yes. All right. So let's take this part, these stuff off here for a second. We're going to take this coupler. So this true scale coupler. Can you turn it this way a bit? Okay. The true scale coupler, can you see these two black bits? Comes in two halves, just like any micro trains coupler. Um, you got a bottom bit, which is this, and a top bit. I'll come to you right here. Okay. Put this in as you stick in the bottom part first. Like that. Okay. And then say a prayer. Could be doing this on camera all in one take. No, isn't that the sexiest front to apply I've ever seen? <laughs> and so after you get that in there, you can come in with a number 80 drill bit and drill straight down through both parts of the coupler and put a 10 thou pin in there. And that'll hold this coupler in place. And of course, you should be able to take a Z scale coupler if you want functionality in the front. And that'll that will should go in there as well. But this is made for... The Microtrain's True Scale Long Shank 
coupler and it comes with a 1015 box for the rear if you're into that but it looks fine just like the, the front of the uh, uh, front of the unit there so put the back back on here So there you go. If you're interested in one of these, let me know. Um, I if you're interested in one, I will ask you for a prototype pick so we can look at uh, um, the cupola. which cupola is appropriate. And we'll do one last thing. We'll put we'll just kind of put the wing on just a little bit here. Ah, that came off. It's angled so. That's what it looks like with the wing on. Not too shabby. All right, thanks guys. Send me a PM if you're interested. Um, the turnaround on these is one week, so I accept prepayment and then within a week it'll be shipped out. Printed to order. All right, thank you very much.